Welcome to our React.js tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with conditional rendering in JSX. Our viewer asks how to implement an if-else statement inside the render function to dynamically change content based on a specific state without switching scenes. Let's dive into this interesting challenge. Welcome back to another tech video. Today I'm going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find the solution. Now, don't forget to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and you'll hopefully get to the resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. To implement conditional rendering in React using an if-else statement inside JSX, we need to adjust our render function. Let's start by understanding how to structure our code. In React, you cannot use an if statement directly inside the return statement of the render function. Instead, we can use a ternary operator or separate the logic before the return statement. Let's modify your render function. First, check the state before returning the JSX. If the state is news, return the desired component. Otherwise, return a default component. This way, you can dynamically change the content displayed without changing scenes. You can also use tabs to switch between different states. Finally, ensure that your state is updated correctly when a tab is clicked. This will trigger a re-render and display the appropriate content based on the current state. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. You can use if-else statements inside JSX in React. Just remember to include a return statement before your JSX component. Here's an example of fetching data from the internet in a React component. You set the initial state and update it after fetching data. In the render method, you can display the fetch data using JSX. Just ensure your component returns the correct structure. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. You can use a Babel plugin called JSX Control Statements to write if-else statements directly inside JSX. This means you won't need to escape them with JavaScript or create wrapper classes. Here's a quick example. You can use the if component to conditionally render elements based on your state, like displaying text when the state is news. Setting it up may require some configuration, but it allows for clean conditional rendering without leaving JSX. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. In this example, the user demonstrates using a switch case instead of an if-else statement in React.js. 
They show how to render different components based on the current route in the state. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. In React.js, you can use an if-else statement inside JSX by utilizing an immediately invoked function expression. This allows you to conditionally render components based on the component's state. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. In this example, we demonstrate how to use nested loops with if conditions in React. We start with a data structure representing menus, where each menu item has an ID, name, and parent ID. The render method maps through the menus to create a nested list. If a menu item has a parent ID of zero, it is treated as a parent item. For each parent menu, we create a list item and check for child items by comparing IDs. This process continues for grandchildren, creating a multi-level nested list. Finally, we return the complete nested structure wrapped in a div, showcasing how to effectively use if-else statements within JSX. And that's it, guys. I hope this video has helped you find that solution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.